Is there any link between Sputnik V vaccine and HIV? Can I travel abroad after taking Sputnik V? Has WHO approved Sputnik V? I have been getting these queries from you for a long time. Let me answer these questions today. Sputnik V is a heterologous vaccine that uses two kinds of vector for its two doses. The first dose requires adenovirus 26 and the second dose requires adenovirus 5. Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, Johnson & Johnson vaccine also uses adenovirus 26. But Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine uses chimpanzee adenovirus 26 while Johnson & Johnson and Sputnik V uses human adenovirus 26. Till now it has been found that adenovirus 26 is safe. And what about adenovirus 5? A decade before there has been some research to make vaccine against HIV and the scientists used adenovirus 5 as vector for HIV vaccine. In two studies it was found that people who got vaccinated had higher chance of getting HIV compared to the unvaccinated people. Actually it should be opposite isn't it? Once one is vaccinated with HIV one should not get HIV or chances of getting should be very low. But in this two study, it was found that vaccinated people had higher chance of getting HIV and it was found mostly in a certain group of men. There was lot of talk about this phenomenon in the research committee and finally they came to the conclusion that adenovirus vector 5 might play a role in increasing the risk of HIV in vulnerable population. However, these conclusions are still murky and lot of debates are still ongoing on this topic. So the important question in your mind is now, can you get HIV if you take Sputnik V second dose? Listen carefully to what I am saying now. HIV does not infect us like SARS-CoV-2. It has specific route of transmission like infected blood, semen or vaginal fluid. One can get HIV with unprotected sex with a HIV positive partner, from HIV mother to the baby and also from infected blood. So HIV infection is not contagious as SARS-CoV-2. Thus one is not supposed to get HIV virus just like that unless one has gone through this above mentioned behaviors. Thus if you take the second dose of Sputnik V, chances of getting HIV is very very low if any at all. Moreover till date there is no report about HIV acquisition after taking second dose of Sputnik V. But if you are from a high prevalence zone like African countries, then chances of getting HIV might be higher. So according to my opinion, you are not at risk if you are not at a HIV prevalent zone and if you follow the measures to prevent getting infected with HIV. So know your situation and then decide whether Sputnik V is good for you or not. Can I travel abroad if I have taken Sputnik V vaccine? Till date, Europe has given clean cheat to four vaccines, Pfizer-BioNTech, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson vaccine and Vaxervia which is European version of Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. The European Medical Agency is in conversation with Russia about the approval of Sputnik V. However, Greece, Hungary, Slovenia has already started administering Sputnik V to their citizen. As per my opinion, Sputnik V will get clean cheat very soon. In North America, if people have not received the vaccine approved by WHO, then they might be asked again to get revaccinated upon arrival. Correct me if I am wrong. Let me know in the comment if it is true for North America. This leads me to the question. Is Sputnik V approved by WHO? Till now Sputnik V is not approved by WHO but it is speculated that Sputnik V will be approved by September or October 2021. That's it for today guys. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more updates. Thank you.